Good day everyone, uh, I'm doing this tutorial in order to show you how to set up a suggestions embed using YAG PDB bot. Uh, with that, uh, the reason why I'm doing this is the information that is written in the YAG PDB website, um, the coding just didn't work for me. I was getting all these uh, error codes and whatnot. So I ended up over at the YAG PDB community and support f server and one of the guys in there um, personally took time out of his day to help me and set it up and uh, it got it going. Uh, what he did was sent me to GitHub and one of the guys uh, named Sadi9361 has uploaded uh, the command, uh, not the command, the uh, suggestion coding for the YAG PDB bot. So in here he's got the readme, which you can read all through here, which just talks about the commands, configurations, and whatever else there is in there. To be honest, I have no idea about coding, so um all i did was uh, copy from here which is your trigger to there i'll show you what to do in a minute uh, and then in here uh, this is the code uh, for the suggestions box um, basically you just start highlighting from this and down this section up here it actually tells you some information and um, basically delete it. So um, in order to do this, you go to your YAG PDB control panel down into core, custom commands. And then once you're in there, create a new custom command and it will pop up like this. And basically set your trigger type to regex or regex i'm not sure how you pronounce it to be honest and copy pretty much from that there all the way across copy that and paste it in here i'm pretty sure he explains it in this section here um and then once you've done that pretty much copy from here down and paste it in your response. Now in, in your response, I don't really know what this code does. Um, it just makes everything fancy on the front end. But what you will need to do is set up a suggestion channel or a channel where all your suggestions get posted to. And in order to do that, you need to go to your user settings uh, and make sure down in appearance and make sure developer mode is on. Uh, if that's on, then you're sweet to go. Um, so in, I've created a suggestions channel. So in there, you just right click on the channel and go copy ID and take that and paste it over top of the existing numbers in there. I'm not sure what the logging implemented and approved channels are and how they work. Uh, I've tried it, I couldn't get it to work, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Um, and the mod roles is I've added just the, um, the secondary admin role in there, which actually works. Uh, besides that, everything else is the same. Uh, there is one thing that I do need to tell you, which I found um, that sent me some errors, is in the code exit, uh, exit line 52, um, you need to remove that little section of the code. So bring that up one extra line. Um, I, I keep getting these errors and once I deleted that, uh, the errors were gone. So 
I think that's all there is. Uh, if certain things don't work, maybe put it back in and see what happens for you. But uh, for me, I had to do that. And But basically, once that's done, uh, you can post a suggestion in any channel that allows text. So, you know, I can post it in general channel and And it will come up saying done. This will disappear. Uh, this will disappear after a short period of time. And we'll just wait for it to disappear. And there we go. And what happens is it gets posted down in your suggestion channel. So no matter where they post it, those messages will get deleted and it will post straight into your suggestions channel and then people can vote whatever um, now there is a few other things that I would like to uh, add which will probably help you stop people spamming in the suggestion channel with just random text and I also have another little uh, walkthrough that um, will help you reset this back to uh, one for when you want to start all over again from scratch, uh, which I also got from that guy from the Ag PDB server. He uh, sent me the code in order to do it. So the first thing to, that I'll do and set up and show you how to do is the stop people from spamming in this channel with just random text. Um, so you just go to your PDB control center, go down to tools and utilities, the auto bot moderator, uh, sorry, auto moderator V2, and then create a new rule, rule set, which I created, which was suggestions. And then I created a new rule which is suggestions again, and you get something like this. Uh, just go down to drop, men drop down menu and click on messages match rejects or regects uh, with a full stop and the hash, I think it is, no, star, uh, whatever it is. And then down under conditions, uh, add a condition, go active in channel, and select the suggestions channel that you that you have. Then also I've got ignore roles. So basically myself, admin, and the Ag PDB bot um, will able to post in there without the messages being deleted. And then add an effect and select delete message and then save. And what happens is uh, I'll take my roles, uh, my roles are away now. So if in I just type some random stuff, it would just delete it eventually. And there we go. But once I am back to admin, it will stay. So only the people that you select will be able to do this and you'll be good to go. Now, the next one is to have your um, suggestion numbers uh, reset back to zero. So after you've done a whole heap of suggestions, um, you can uh, reset it. So when you actually get it going, it will start from one. And in order to do that, again, you go back to your YAG PDB control center, go back to your core, go to commands, custom commands, and then create new custom command. And in here, um, I've created a custom command, a new one, and set your trigger type to command. I've set my trigger to uh, reset. I think you can do 
whatever you like, whatever you're comfortable with, as long as you remember that. And this little bit of code, put it in there. Make sure your user roles is set to just you or the admin. Uh, once you've done that, hit save. Uh, this will be posted in the Google Documents link. Uh, and then create a new custom command again. Go, and it will com come up like this. Trigger type command. The uh, trigger is, I've written entry. And then this little bit of code uh, will be posted. You just post it in there. Again, set up your user role restrictions or um, whitelist as you and then hit save and then once that's done you just type reset and it'll go done in order to check that it's been done uh, I'll just take this and paste it in here and my suggestion value is at zero so the next suggestion will be back at one and then they can vote. I'm sure everyone will vote that one, but I'll give myself a head start. Anyway, uh, I hope that uh, makes it a little bit clearer for you. Again, I've got no idea how to code, so if you come across anything in that code uh, that we could use or make it work, uh, please let me know, because then I can use it myself. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night.